Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the box in the shape of a square prism. We have a height, we have an area. All right, we're looking for total surface area. So let's go ahead and just bring out our reference materials here and let's look at our area. And we've got surface area. All right, so we're looking at a prism, not a cylinder. So I'm gonna move that right there because if you see that, Right at the very bottom of the screen, we see that prism, and we need that total surface area, that S equals pH plus 2B. That's what we're looking for, okay? So my surface area, first we need to find the correct formula, pH plus 2B. So that's all we need from our reference materials because it's got the prism and the total surface area. Now we just need to figure out what S and pH and 2B equals. The S is the surface area, so that's fine. What does this P mean? So that, that doesn't give us any information. We need to go into the star test knowing that the P is the perimeter of the base. Okay. This H is going to be my height. And then 2 is obviously 2, but this B is actually the area of the base. And that's kind of confusing because sometimes we do base times height. It's the length of the base. In this case, it's the area of the base. All right, so a box is in the, the shape of a square prism. Okay, so square prism. So let's just make it look kind of like this. And it might not be to scale, but that's fine. We could just kind of visualize it here. All right, so let's just get some... Let's just get a few measurements on here, okay? So the height of the box is 8 inches. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the height this way, okay? So 8 inches is my height. And the area of the square base is 16, okay? So area is on the inside, right? So I'm going to say area equals 16 square inches. All right, that's all they give us. So what do I need? I need the perimeter of the base. Hmm. I need, right, this plus this plus this plus this. They don't give me any of those units. All they give me is it's a square. That's why I drew a square. So if that is going to be a square, then that's going to have to be 4 times 4, because 4 times 4 makes the area of 16. All right, so my length and width is 16. So that's 4, that's 4. So my perimeter actually does equal 16. All right. Uh, so that's not always going to be the case. But we could use that. So my perimeter is going to be 16. What's my height? My height's going to be 8. They gave me that. Okay. Plus 2 times the area of the base. They gave me that as 16. All right. So we translated everything. Now it's just a matter of, you know, using the order of operations and simplifying this. Okay, so my 16 times 8, right, that's going to be 128. So S equals 128 plus 2 times 16, that's going to be 32. All right, so let's add 32 to this. It looks like I'm going to get a 160, which I do see is A, but I did some hand calculations there. Wouldn't hurt to go ahead and bring out the calculator just to make sure. And I'm just going to go ahead and enter in this equation right here. The S equals, I'm going to do 16 times 8 plus 2 times 16 just to verify. And it is that 160. All right, so it's going to be 160 inches squared. Right, and that is our A answer. And that is the total surface area, 160 inches squared.